Hi, I'm Willie Horn, one of the founders of Glass Torch Technologies. In 1992, my brother Wally and I set out to design an entirely new type of hybrid surface mix burner that would revolutionize the lamp working industry by producing a wider range of flame characteristics than standard surface mix burners are able to produce. Here's what we came up with. The Lynx, it's the first of our triple mix burner designs. Our unique triple mix patented design has one gas control valve and two separate oxygen control valves instead of the usual single oxygen control valve found on standard surface mix burners. The addition of the second oxygen control valve to our triple mix torches allows for flame characteristics ranging from micro needle sharp to hard driving focus flames to soft brushy flames. And those aren't the only benefits you gain by using the glass torch technology triple mix burner. The second oxygen control completely eliminates carbon buildup on the torch face. It's also super quiet and the candle glare is greatly reduced. But that's not the best part. The best part and most importantly the flame is super hot. There are several different glass torch technology burners suited for various lamp working situations. After I show you the various torch models, their uses, operation, and adjustments, we will have some demonstrations showing you techniques you can employ with our triple mix torches. This is the Bobcat. It's the only standard torch we make. It's used for beadworking and small pyrex, a good beginner's torch. This is the Lynx. It's the first in our line of triple mix torches. The Lynx is the center fire for our bigger torches, producing extremely small needle flames, hard driving focused flames, and soft bushy flames. The Lynx is the most versatile of our torches. This is the Phantom, the next size torch in our line, incorporating the Lynx center fire system. It's capable of producing inch and a quarter shoulder flames. It's good for large solids and tubing. You can even work up to two inch heavy walled quartz tubing, a real workhorse. The Phoenix is a phantom torch without the link center fire system. If you don't need a needle sharp flame, but you need the big main flame of the phantom, the Phoenix is the most economical choice. This is the Delta, currently the biggest torch we make. With a two and a quarter inch flame shoulder, big vases and goblets are no problem. It also has the Lynx center fire system. It will work the biggest pieces you can work by hand. This one has all the heat you need. The Mirage is similar to the Delta with a narrower one and three quarter inch flame shoulder width. It has basically the same amount of heat as the Delta along with the Lynx center fire system. This is a delta torch with the optional four stud manifold. This option allows for the operation of a foot pedal. The four stud manifold is also available on the Phantom and the Mirage torches. Triple mix torches take some getting used to. There's a definite learning curve involved. It'll take you a little time getting used to adjusting the torch, but the gain is well worth it. It's quieter, hotter, faster, no carbon buildup, and the range of flame characteristics is unbelievable. Now I'm going to show you how to light and adjust the Delta torch. The Phantom, Mirage, and Delta all have six valve control configuration. The three valves in the front control the center fire. The three back valves control the outer fire. The red valve in the front here on the center fire is the main gas. The green valve is the main oxygen for the center fire and the blue valve is for the little injectors in the center fire. On the back valves, the red valve is your main gas for your outer fire, the green valve is your main oxygen for the outer fire, and the blue valve is your main inner injectors for the outer fire. Now we're going to light the torch.
To start, I'm going to start with the center fire using the front red valve and the front blue valve. I'm going to first adjust the red valve to get about a six inch flame, yellow flame going. And then I'm going to use the blue valve to get the micro small needle sharp flames. Turn the blue valve on and I'm going to bring it on till it starts getting to the point where it's making a hissing noise or distorting or crackling. At that point, you back down till it quiets up and smooths out. Then I'm going to start just by using the front red valve going up and down to get different lengths that I need of the sharp flames. To get the smallest, you want to just back a little more off the blue valve and come down with the gas valve to get the real sharp needle flame. Then, if you want to get a brushy flame, we're going to use the green valve on the front and the blue valve on the front and the gas valve. So I'm going to turn it, start turning the green valve in the front on. It's going to pull the flame down. At this point, I want to start adding more fuel on. Get the candle lengths to about a half inch long. You just start to the point where it's starting to get noisy or distorting. But now to get the soft flame, I'm going to use very little of the blue valve. Start back in the blue valve to almost next to nothing on it to get the, sh the soft fluffy type flame. Now if you want a harder driving flame, you're going to want to use more uh, the blue valve. So I'm going to be starting to bring more blue valve on. It's going to start sharpening the flame. At this point, I can start adding more fuel on. Get longer candle lengths in there, about an inch long. And that's to get the sharp center flame focused. Now, to start your outer fire, you're going to use the outer fire. First, keep the center fire on. Then, we're going to move back to the back valves. First, we're going to start with the red valve on the back and turn it on till we get about a, about a foot long flame. Six to a foot long. Okay. Now I'm going to bring on a green valve and bring it on to the point where it starts rippling on the outside shell and starting to turn the gas valve up a little longer to get the candle lengths out about a quarter to a half inch long and start using the green valve to keep cleaning the candles up and start turning on the gas valve a little more. Now, if you want brushy flames on the outer fire, we're going to use very little of the blue valve on the back outer fire. So I'm going to turn it on very little and start rolling on the gas. And I'm going to start playing between the red back red valve and the back green valve. At some point it will be to the point where it's maxed out on the flame setting and you can't get no more candle, the yellow candle out of it. And that's pretty much the maximum you're getting out of it. Now to get a harder focus flame, I'm going to back down on the red valve and start turning on the blue valve. Now this is going to tighten up the flame, get it more focused, more sharper fold. Uh, sharper shoulder on the outer fire. At this point, you can start adding more fuel on. That's, and you can get candle lengths to about an inch long, inch and a half, that's good flames. And that's pretty much how you get the uh, main rusted outer flame. Now to turn back off the torch, you're gonna start backing the gas down until we get about half inch candle lengths. Start turning off the blue valve until it's off. Now turn off your green valve. And start turning down as you're turning the green valve, just start turning down your gas valve until it's off. Now, on your center fire, I'm going to use the three front valves. To shut that off. We're going to turn off the blue valve first on the center. And then we're going to turn the front green valve down and then start turning the gas down. It's off. Okay, now I'm going to show you one flame you should never run on our torches. It's a short, soft, fluffy flame that's real close to the face of the burner. 
If it, you ever get down too low, it'll look real short and soft with some candle in it and the jets are real short. It'll start to get like an orange outer shroud around the flame and sometimes you got to look at an angle. If you see the orange the orifices glowing a little orange on the tips, that means you have to add more oxygen and you should never run a short soft flame like that. If you need a brushy flame, run it out a little further and very little blue valve. Don't never run it down close to the face of the burner. If you run it that way for a long time, what will happen is you'll start noticing uh, deterioration on the jets and it causes the torch to overheat. So you should never run that kind of flame. Just run it out further. If you're running the torch with too little of oxygen to the outer fire, you may notice when the torch is off, these individual jets will start looking like they're eroding. That's caused because there's not enough oxygen to the outer fire. You have to run it with a little more oxygen if these jets get deteriorated. And also, if the burner jets get deteriorated, the burner face can always be retrued up and resurfaced. You may notice uneven candle lengths in the flame. This is caused by the individual jets that are in the very center that lay at random patterns, making the flame candle lengths a little uneven. It's nothing to worry about. It will not affect the overall flame characteristics of the torch. One last thing. Sometimes you will notice when the torch is new, the flame may seem to back down. This is caused by the valve seat springing up a little after the valve is first open. This will happen temporarily till the valve seats wear in. Now I want to show you a few tips on taking care of your torch. Using the burner face brush, Brush the face at least once a week or once every day if you do a lot of heavy fuming. And using the wire provided, go in the very center injector jets and poke them out every once a month if it needs it or not. And if you would ever notice any long yellow candles, take the wire and poke the very center jet out. Periodically check the screens on the end of the studs for obstructions, more so if you change out lines frequently.